Hey everybody and welcome to this video guide talking about how to do macros along with playing multiple roles in the world of Final Fantasy XIV. My name's Brian and this is Work to Game. The goal of this video is to really show you how you can leverage the power of the UI, the multiple different types of HUD layout settings that you can have, and also how you use this with your jobs and your glamour sets. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just do this thing. So pressing start going into system and then user macros, you're going to see three user macros here that I want to kind of cover for you. They're all basically the same, but I want to kind of demonstrate them and how they work. I also have this fourth one as a bonus just to highlight some things for you. But first, you can see macro icon warrior. Then because I do a space class job, this allows me to use the macro icon symbol for the warrior. You can see obviously the double headed axe here. What I want to focus in on though is that gear set change 25 and 8. What this means is it's my gear set 25 and it's my various glamour plate number eight. This allows me to be able to, at the same time that I'm changing my gear set, also apply a, uh, a glamour plate to my layout. Also then I have HUD layout one. You can see if I go to the scholar main, you can see different gear set, different number and HUD layout two. And finally summoner class job there, two, three, and then HUD layout three. Why this is important and where you can start to have some kind of benefit is that if you think of your HUD layouts, we'll just go and dive into that real quick. So diving into your HUD layout, for example, you've got one, two, three, and four. I've gone ahead and set up two extra HUD layouts just for the different roles. And if you want to get started real quick and easily, click on the little settings gear and you can actually copy your base slot, any of them, to your new slot. So you can say, I'm going to go with one, copy to two, three, four, and then you can just go in and modify two, three, and four if you've already spent a lot of time in your HUD layout. But it's obviously not very convenient to be able to switch your various roles and have your UI match. That's why you want to use a macro. So you see here I've got my warrior main, scholar main, and summoner main. So if I click on scholar main, you can see that my HUD layout kind of shifts and change. My party member list is over here. It's not necessarily very apparent, uh, but you can see my target bar is right there. So if I switch warrior, Target bar is right here. If I switch to Scholar, uh, everything is kind of changing and you get that option when you especially go into HUD layout, you can see that I'm on gear set three. So for case of purposes, if I just wanted to do something crazy and save that and go ahead and come back out, I can go ahead and click on two and then three. You can see that it easily switches my HUD layout to go from there. It's really convenient, really handy. I'd highly recommend it, um, especially because you end up having a lot more control over it. If you've got uh, different roles, essentially, maybe you want to prioritize different things. You can see that for my uh, healer, I have actually moved my party list over here to the right hand side. Also, my alliance one and two list, just so I can have this more as a priority as a healer and then my various targeting over there. Whether I end up defaulting on this or whatever, you just, I'm hopefully encouraging you to make this your own and make it work for you. All right, let's go ahead and back into our user macros real quick. So that's pretty much it. So the HUD layout and the number is going to be what changes your HUD layout. Gear set change allows you to set the number and then again, your glamour plate right here. Uh, lastly, like if you look here for my looking for party, uh, and I would recommend this for Eureka and that kind of type of content, you can see that macro icon lookout. And then because I put the word emote next to it, that ends up freeing yourself up for a lot of different options itself. Then you can see I do slash LFP looking for party. And then just for fun, I do a little emote lookout. So if I go ahead and do this and click on it, you can see I am now looking for party. It puts that nice little green symbol next to my name. And if I click it again, it's going to turn it off. And then obviously I'm still doing the emote. There's no if statements here in this case. Okay. And finally, I want to give you guys some examples of what of these macro icon options that you have at the end of it. You can say action. PVP action, general, emote, companion, pet, minion, mount, enemy sign, waymark, gear set, and class job. These are, <laughs> it's not gonna let me go further down than 15. So just think of this as two separate ones, class job there. Uh, so these are the various sub commands to your macro icon that you have available for you. Just letting you know so that you, as you build out your macros, you can really kind of try to relate it to every value, every image in this game. So that way it doesn't become confusing and you don't have to def set to the default four type categories of these colors. Just wanted to give you guys that 
feedback and those options. Guys, this is a little bit more advanced talking about just kind of quality of life user macros. If you guys have your own user macros that you really enjoy, let me know. Sound off in the comments below. If there's other things that you want me to cover macro wise in this game, sound off in the comments below. I'd love to be able to dive more into macros with you. But anyway, for work to game, my name's Brian. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Hey, it's me. Thanks so much for watching this video. You should click here to subscribe and here to maybe check out some more of our videos. So again, thanks for watching. We hope you like this video. We hope you subscribe and join our community. Let us know in the comments below what you think and we'll see you next time.